Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribonet. My name is Manoj. Today, let us understand about fretting wear. What is fretting wear? Fretting wear occurs wherever short amplitude reciprocating sliding between contacting surfaces is sustained for many cycles. It results in two forms of damage: surface wear and deterioration of fatigue life. The extent of wear and surface damage is much greater than suggested by the magnitude of sliding distance. Reciprocating moments as short as 0.1 micrometer in amplitude can cause failure of the components when the sliding is maintained for 1 million cycles or more. Fretting wear and fretting fatigue are present in almost all machinery and are the cause of total failure of some otherwise robust components. In this figure we can see the schematic fretting wear process and surface stress distribution in the fretting contact now let us understand the fretting wear mechanism in the first stage metallic contact between two surfaces occur on asperity level cold welding adhesion this happens if the protective oxide layer is broken down so that highly reactive bare materials come into contact The contact occurs at few sites called asperities or surface protrusions. In the second stage, debris are generated and subsequently oxidated. It is difficult for particles to escape the contact since the amplitude of the motion is limited and therefore they act as abrasives which may increase wear rates. In the third stage, fretting fatigue occurs. due to the repeated loading and shear stresses the elevated stress area in fretting occurs on the slides of the loaded areas therefore the crack initiates at the boundaries of the fretting area and propagates inside now let us understand the characteristics of fretting wear fretting wear depends on many parameters which influences the cause of wear slip amplitude At slips below 100 micrometers, nucleation and propagation of cracks that lead to wear debris are too minute to be detected. The wear debris rolling at the degree of oscillation presumably causes this low wear rate. At high amplitudes, direct abrasion of the interface by hard particles, example oxide or work hardened particles, creates the gross wear rate. At large amplitudes of oscillations the fretting wear coefficient is approximately the same as that of unidirectional wear in this we can see the fretting wear versus slip amplitude here we can see the example of the mild steel where the plot of fretting rate and amplitude is shown and the fretting wear rate increases at an amplitude which is in between the 100 to 150 micrometer Now let us understand the influence of contact load. Changes in the normal load generally affect fretting wear. Although equipment users often presume that high normal loads will dampen vibration sufficiently to reduce fretting, the increase in contact area produces more surface interaction which tend to outweigh this effect. Consequently, increasing load or unit pressures tend to generate higher wear rates as shown in the figure. We can see here the fretting wear rate versus the normal unit load which increases as the load increases let us understand how the frequency interacts or affects the fretting wear fretting wear frequency strongly influence the fretting wear behavior and thus wear rate the influence of the frequency is found to be greatly dependent on the contact geometry for less conforming contacts wear rate is significantly influenced by fretting frequency here we can see the effect of frequency on fretting damage of mild steel now let us understand what is fretting corrosion and fretting fatigue fretting is commonly combined with corrosion a wear mode known as fretting corrosion due to the rupture of material and formation of debris fresh surface is exposed to air which subsequently is getting oxidized depending on the inertness of the material in case of steel the iron oxide is very hard and thus acts as an abrasive since the particles cannot escape the contact they initiate abrasive wear and subsequently oxidation and the process continues fretting fatigue in fretting contact surfaces are worn and at the same time they are affected by cyclic friction stress fatigue with fretting is called fretting fatigue the friction 
stress is for maximum on the contact surface of the material and decreases drastically toward the inside of the material. Therefore, fretting fatigue crack growth behavior differs significantly from fatigue crack growth behavior in frictionless fatigue. Here we can see the formation of fretting corrosion and fretting fatigue. These are the references for the information provided in this slide. Thank you for watching this video. To get more details on the topics related to tribology, follow us on our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and also do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribonet. Also do visit our website on www.tribonet.org.